Good day and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about how to add a route to our demo application that was generated with the Yeoman NG full stack generator. So we're going to add a route by doing three things. One, we can create a view, create a controller, and update our index.html. So let's see how we do that. Let's look at the code. So here I am at documentation for the full stack generator. And today we're going to be looking at generating a route, adding a new route to our application. And so let's go see this. So I'm in the directory here for chapter nine, you know, on full stack, Angular full stack generator. And as I said in the previous chapter, I'm going to put the demo application here so that I could continue adding to it and don't have to create a new directory every time. And if you remember for our full stack generator, it generated a front end and a back end and that express back end requires Mongo because it uses Mongoose to talk to MongoDB to store our data. And so I already have that run in there and I'm not going to go over how to run it because I cover it several times in the previous two or three videos. So um, let's go ahead now and go into our demo directory and I'm going to start this application up npm run dev and again this run two commands one to uh, monitor the files and the other one to start up the back end so front end and back end basically and so this is working and we can see that by adding and it adds to the database and we can delete it so our application is running and what i want to do is i'm going to go into that directory and here i am i'm going to shorten my prompt a bit uh, clear that and so i have my editor open to this directory and we'll be working on the client side, so we're going to restrict ourselves here. And if we look at the documentation for the subgenerators, we can see it has, you know, for client side, components, controller, and so on. And since we want to add a directive, we know that for a directive, we really want to add a controller and a template. Now, when we talked about Angular early on, we know that you have the template, which is going to be shown, you know, responsible for the HTML and the you see and then there's the controller which um, helps with the dynamic part of the application where you interact you click this button the function that gets invoked and so on and then this is just how you sort of bind it and so if we wanted to add for example uh, another route um, called comment for example and we wanted that to be comment that HTML well Let's don't do a URL for now, but rather just let's do um, some text. And we don't have a controller, so we'll take that out. And so let's see if this works. So we can say comment, and huh, um, that didn't work. Uh, let's see. When comment template, all right, show that as the template. Uh, this should work. Uh, let's see. Comment. Okay, there we go. And so that's our text that we have here. Uh, of course, there's nothing dynamic about it, it's just text. So if we want to use template URL instead, well, we have to point it to this URL. And we're going to use this Yeoman, this Angular subgenerator to generate a view. Now, if you go here curiously, and you try to look for all the subgenerator on the client side, you won't see view listed there. But if you type yo minus minus help, and then scroll back through ng full stack and then all the sub generator you see the controller which is the one we want and you see view right there so we're going to use that so we're going to use yo ng full stack colon view because we want a view generator and we're going to call our um, view comment and we want it to be in the features directory um, directory of to do and so in the to do feature and so i'm not going to cover feature uh, much later on we'll talk about feature what this option is and so now you can see it created this file, you know, um, client dev to do, which is the feature directory and templates and then comment. And we can see that here, feature directory, template, and it should be comment. Um, why well, didn't update yet? Um, refresh, uh, there we go. And so we see our template here. And so if you go back to the code now, this should update and show us our template let's make sure that we have it spelled correctly so comment uh, 
does it as its comment. That's more like it. And so save. And now it should refresh in a few seconds here. Let's hit refresh. It's loading, 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 loading. Come on, hurry. Uh, why is it taking so long? Um, wait. Stop that. Um, okay. Um, so let me copy this. Kill this, kill this one. Oh, something with my browser now. It doesn't want to die. Uh, okay, so that went away. Eventually, I don't know what's happening there with the browser. Okay, so there we go. Ah, finally. So something was up with the browser, and it's killing my time. So anyway, so that's my my um, comment showing up there. And so the other thing we want is to be able to drive our page with some data. So we certainly want a controller. So let's copy this, paste this here, and we'll call a controller comment controller comment controller and we'll just call this CTRL um, for control chart for controller and here we want to use still use the same feature directory and we want to use comment controller so we're gonna say comment con um, co controller and um, I'm not sure let's, let's just give it the short name because when you do it like this it gives it some weird name and so on so um, about controller and it's going to generate two files for us a test file which we don't really care about and then right now and our contr comment control so the test file I really don't care about and I can really ignore but I'm going to go through the trouble of deleting it here I really don't care about it and then so here's our template this is our controller and I'm going to rename our controller file from just comment.js to comment controller to sort of match the pattern of the to-do one that they already had here before. So let me do this, expand this a little bit this way. And so there's my comment controller. And if I look at it, the name of it is comment. So I'm gonna call it comment controller. And I'm gonna copy this and go back to my route. And I wanna make sure it's the same, so I'm gonna paste it there. So, so that if I have that wired that up correctly, that should be working. I don't care what it to do. Um, the only thing is, though, it's not actually going to work if, for example, in my current controller, I put something like self that name is equals to test a name. Okay, and what I should expect in my HTML is that I should be able to reference that by saying CTRL that name right because remember the alias we have a ctrl and now i have this property defined call name and this i would expect it to work to show up here but that's not going to happen when i refresh you see it doesn't show up and then if i actually look at the error message i'm getting it's going to tell me at all commented controller is not a function and the reason why is because unlike some generators um even when you use the command the subgenerator to create a controller, full stack does not add it to this index.html file view like you have seen in some other generator. So we need to add that. So we want the comment-controller.js file. And so now when I save this and if it refresh, you can see that I do not have that error anymore. So I'm gonna close this and my name, comment.test name shows up there. So now I can close it. So now um, I can say that I have, you know, I have comments, and maybe what I want to do is a div, which I will steal the head of this div from here, copy, and then I'll do paste here, close my div. All right, so that is looking okay now, and then. I want it to display a list of comments, which I'm gonna write in here. And so I have an array of comments. So I'm gonna say comments equals to this array. And each comment has an ID, one uh, subject. Um, and then the author of this comment, yeah. Right. 
and I want a few more comments and so I do two, I do three and then and then and this is Peter Smith okay oh, geez. Smith or is that good enough Jane all right it's very creative and so optional but I'll do it again I'll format again and so now here we should easily expect that we should be able to do on ordered list for example um, or ordered list if you like and we can do list item and ng repeat and c in ctrl.comments and then um, I can do da 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 um, c that subject by c that author and then close that up and so reformat and now if I get my stuff to refresh I should see my comments and so that's it um, all you had a road to uh, application created ng full, full stack is that you can independently add the view then the controller and the only thing you have to remember to do is go into your index.html and include the comment the javascript file um, unfortunately that that's not being added for you and that's it and then you can continue updating it and modify it as you usually would and that's that so i hope you try this out and we'll continue working through all the sub -gen the other sub generators in on the client side and see what they give us and see how to modify it and see what's different from what we know before and stick with me and we'll get it get through all of it post your questions or comments i see you in the next video thanks for your time subscribe spread the word take care all right bye